Today's quick singing tips is about performance anxiety, something I'm sure we have all suffered from at some point. It might be that you were just feeling a little bit nervous, or you would say that you had stage fright. And the first thing to know about performance anxiety that it does exist. And by bringing awareness to it, it can help you to understand the symptoms, how it translates in your body, and how you can hopefully start to feel a little bit more confident and calm before you perform. So I'll tell you a little bit more about what's going on in the body when we feel this, and then some techniques that you can use to control this. So if you are feeling a little bit nervous or anxious, maybe in the lead up to a performance or just before you go on stage, often you'll feel it in your breath. You may find that your breaths are more shallow, you can't get what you feel like a full breath is. It may be that you're breathing a bit more frequently, your breaths are a little bit shorter. You may find that you feel tension in the body. You might lock your knees, which then causes a bit of an imbalance in the alignment and causes other parts of the body to become tense. It might be that you feel like you lose control of your voice. Your voice feels a little bit shaky. Sometimes we can actually feel physically sick or have stomach symptoms. So why do these happen? When we feel nervous or anxious, our sympathetic nervous system is kicking in, and this is our fight or flight. It's almost like we're sensing danger, so we're getting ready to be able to fight. This often produces extra adrenaline in the body. It might give you a little bit more feeling on edge. And this is not what we need when we're about to go on stage. So in order to counteract this, we need to activate our parasympathetic nervous system. This is what we call our rest and digest. So how can we do this? We mentioned the breath. Breath is one of the first things to come to if you are feeling anxious or a bit nervous. We need to slow down the heart rate and we can slow down the exhale as well. So trying some yogic breathing techniques or just shutting the eyes, focusing on the breath, maybe adding a s, f, sh to the exhale will help to make that exhale a bit longer which ultimately will help to help your parasympathetic nervous system to start to work a bit more. That's great to do just before you go on stage, but also one thing with performance anxiety is acknowledging that it might happen and actually starting the routine a few weeks before a performance or before a big event. Doing some of these breathing techniques will help you to be prepared for how you might feel and what the best technique is for your body to respond in the most calm way. Visualization can be a really powerful tool, particularly if you know the setting that you're going to be performing in. You can visualize and picture yourself there, feeling calm, confident, and in control of the situation. It may be that you find a lot of tension when you're nervous or you're, yeah, you're feeling on edge, you've got a lot of that pent up adrenaline and energy. Doing something like yoga where you slow down, connect to the breath, moving with the breath is really going to help to calm that nervous system as well. And then ultimately it's knowing what your triggers are. Maybe it might be when you feel nervous that you get very closed in and actually you need an energizing routine. So really think about what your pre-show, pre-performance ritual or just your routine could look like. Make sure you schedule some time for yourself and know that these feelings may arise and it's completely normal that your body will respond in that way that anything you can do on the lead up to the performance or just before is going to be fantastic to help you feel as calm and confident as you can. I've got a few videos on my channel that you may find useful. Alternate nostril breathing is wonderful for just anxiety in general, calming us down a little bit. Bee's breath you can use as a meditation, a bit of a warm up for the voice as well as you're humming and again it helps to bring you into that calm more internal space. Yoga for performance anxiety which is going to help to just free up the body, help you to focus, feel calm. How many times can I say calm? <laughs> And then some uh, yoga practices that will help you connect to the breath, but maybe energize you a little bit more as well. I've also got a visualization for performers, which you may find useful. So just have a browse and really think about your pre-show routine. Thanks for watching Quick Singing Tips today and don't forget to hit subscribe.